Hey guys, this is Phase One once again with another video. Today I kind of wanted to show you guys the new changes that came in with starts up with 3.23 in regards to flight cruise control and um, even with your landing gear, um, how that affects your current flight. Okay, so um, yeah, there's been a few changes and um, initially when I started playing it was very confusing because it was a lot of changes. Um, and um, I thought it would be important to uh, go through them with you in this video. Uh, mind you, this is not going to be a structured video. I'm just going to be talking as I think of these things. All right. So right now, I'm sitting on Daymar, and I want to kind of show you. Um, so what I'll do is I'll lift off, right? And you'll see that my landing gear is out. Whenever your landing gear is out, you're drastically slower. So I'm going to straight forward. You're drastically slow. Right. As long as your landing gear is out, you will move significantly slower compared to before. So now, see that I'm going a lot faster now that it's up. Okay. Okay. So that's the first change. Landing gear slows you down significantly. Okay. So up next, so there's two main flight modes. Okay. The very first one is SCM. Right, SCM is one of the main modes. Um, the other one is going to be NAV. So SCM and NAV. So under SCM, you have gun mode where you have access to your guns. And with the middle mouse button, you can also switch over to missile mode with the middle mouse button. So now you can launch your missiles. Okay. And the middle mouse button under SCM again, you can get into scan mode. All right. All right. So uh, scanning. Yeah, you can get into scan mode. Something is over there. Okay. So, and a middle mouse button again will bring you back to guns. Okay. So, those are the three modes within SCM that you can access. Um, to switch over into nav mode will be, I think, by default, it's going to be the B keybind. So now when you do that, your shields will go down, you won't have access to weapons, and um, as you can see, and as you can hear, it will rotate you over into nav mode. So now, within nav mode, you have access to quantum, to be able to jump to quantum locations, your normal quantum drive UI will be available. Um, if you hit the middle mouse button, you can switch over to nav flight. So nav flight removes the HUD, the quantum HUD, um, so that you can properly see. All right. And cruise around at your top speed in nav mode. And then middle, hold on, middle mouse button will switch you into nav scan. So you get access to your scanner while you're in nav mode as well. And middle mouse button will bring you back to quantum where you can actually jump to quantum locations. Okay, so um, so mind you, when you're in that mode, you can go your top speed. You don't have access to your weapons or missiles um, when you're in this mode. Um, also, whenever you traverse from one quantum beacon or quantum jump to another, it will re-spin okay it will re-spool in order for you to have it uh, available again so let me see if i can showcase an example of this real quick so i'm spooling calibrating i'm gonna jump all right it's gonna spool back up again so at this point i can't go full speed anymore notice that when it finished spooling, you'll notice that my full speed will revert back. All right, you see that? You notice that right there, right? Let me try to do this again while um, I'm flying. After this, I'll show you guys how cruise control works because that's also important. So let me do this one more jump. Okay. We're going to spool up. So now this is our top speed. So I'm going to go to my top speed. All 
right, we're over 1,200. I think we're at 1,200. We're gonna jump. All right, so now, while we're spooling, look at our top speed now. See, we're at 168, 60, 70, and uh, 200, right? So now when the spool completes, now it goes all the way up. All right, so pay attention to that um, in any scenario, whether you're in combat or whatnot, okay? So, um, so let's quickly go to this location again and so I can easily explain cruise control because this is very important. It's, it's, it's confusing initially, um, so I thought uh, it's important to actually showcase this, okay? So there's two types of modes that you can be in when you fly. Cruise control is, I think, referred to as a sticky, one sec, let me see if I can quickly get it here. It's called uh, sticky throttle mode now. Now it's called sticky throttle mode. Um, so now that I'm in at mode, I'm gonna switch over into a CM mode so I can slow down. And uh, so while I switch, you can hear that sound when my systems switch over to SEM mode where I have access to my guns, but it also will slow me down um, as well. Okay, so, all right. So right now my cruise control is on. So I'm gonna show you. All right. All right. Okay. Okay, so right now, the cruise control button, there's two modes in cruise control, which is still your C button, okay? C button is actually, no, actually the C button is actually switches on coupled and decoupled. Cruise control is going to be, I think, left alt C. Right, so if I do left alt C, right now I'm in regular mode right now, right? So as I have my foot on my pedal or if I'm strafing forward with W, um, as soon as I release it, it will slow back down to zero. But if I switch over to sticky right now, without my foot being on a pedal or strafing forward, you won't, you'll see that, um, you see this icon right here, right there, right? So if I, as I straight forward, it will continue to increase my speed um, based on the limit that I've set. So if I increase it, it will continue to match that speed right there, okay? There you go. Right? And it will try to go the speed it can. Right now it can't go further than this because unless I boost. So, so let's see if I boost and it'll get me over that to try to match that boost would allow me to push it to that for right so so that is uh cruise control which is going to be control c so i'm going to turn it back off and it slows me right back down okay so all right so when i hit c and then i throttle forward it will match this the speed that i've set okay go there you go it will always try to match that speed that I have already set and then if you hit C again it will drop it down back to your regular flight where it will dial back down to zero as soon as you release your feet from the pedal or strafing forward or backwards okay so before I let you go, I wanted to actually show you guys the actual keybind, uh, which you should uh, look at pertaining to the new flight control uh, mechanics here. So the keybind that swaps you between the modes is called throttle swap mode under uh, flight movement. And this is what swaps you between uh, cruise control 
as well as uh, the regular mode, uh, flight mode that we're used to. Okay. So uh, once again, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe. I'll catch you guys on the next video. Take care.